Hey guys, my name is EposBox, and welcome back to another tutorial. In fact, welcome back to another OBS tutorial, Open Broadcaster Software. The set of tutorials I have been doing on this program have received a lot of attention in the past couple weeks, so I wanted to add to these tutorials and give people a bit more, you know, a wide range of what they can learn about this software. Now, if you have no clue what OBS is, I'm also going to show you that in this as well. You now have the ability to record your gameplay to your PC, just like all YouTubers do, without expensive or pirated software like Fraps or DX Story or Camtasia. In fact, you can do it for free, very easily, and frankly on potentially hardware, you know, computers that Fraps and DX Story cannot handle. So if you do not have OBS already installed, let's go ahead and download it from obsproject.com. Click download, download the installer, install it. Basically all the basics are all you're going to need to do with it, so that's going to be fine. And then let's go ahead and run it. I have it on my taskbar here. Now, so we're going to be recording PC gameplay. This could also be used to record console gameplay, and I'll be doing a separate tutorial for that. Now you're going to want to set some things up here. This is a brand new install, so there's no profile set up or anything. So we're going to get a PC recording profile set up. Let's go to our settings. We're going to name this profile PC Recording. We're going to set it to Notification Area Icon because I want that. And then we're going to add the profile, hit Apply. You have to hit Apply on every single window. That's kind of annoying, but we'll make it work. Go to the Encoding tab. Actually, we're going to skip the Encoding tab and come right back to it. First, go to Broadcast Settings. Then click File Output Only on this drop-down menu here. And then your File Path. Now, one thing to note with this, which applies to any sort of recording program ever, is you're going to want to be recording to a secondary or tertiary drive. You're not going to want to be recording to your C drive or whatever drive your games are running off of. So, for example, this is my C, my operating system drive, where most of my programs are. And this drive right here, the one called Chocolate Rain, is actually where most of my games are installed. So I don't want to use either of these drives for recording. Instead, I have a hardware or a hard drive RAID 0 setup for recording. So I'm going to tell it to record to the record folder in here and then we're going to name it PC underscore record underscore and then it's going to automatically add numbers to it so that you're not recording over the same file. You can set up hotkeys if you want here to set your start and stop recording. This is actually pretty useful. So I'm going to be using uh, slash on the number pad for start, plus for stop, and I'm going to hit apply there as well. Let's go to your video tab here. Here it shows your video adapter, your resolution, all that stuff. Mainly what you need to know here is your base resolution. If you have a lower NPC or a smaller resolution than a 1080p monitor, you're going to want to set this to 1280 by 720 and that is going to record 720p video for you. However, if you want to if you have the capability and the screen and graphics card to do so, you're going to want to record at 1920 by 1080 as 1080p video is of course the high-end HD that will get people to notice and it will look better if you do it right. Leave it at 30 frames per second. There's no reason to change that. You certainly don't want to lower it. So hit apply. Some people get kind of confused by this resolution downscale. As long as your custom resolution is correct, you should be alright. The only issue you're going to come into is if your game is set to a different resolution. So something to check here. I'm going to move OBS out of the way. Right click your desktop and go to screen resolution. Find out what your main desktop resolution is. If it is 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 900, 1366 or 1360 by 768, or 1280 by 720, you have a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is the aspect ratio that videos are displayed in. It's the widescreen. It is what 720p and 1080p, as I just showed, are. So if, you, if that is your resolution and that is the resolution your games are set up at, you're going to be just fine. If your resolution is one of the other ones, you're going to have an issue of black bars being on the top or the sides of your video. You can adjust this in editing and, po in, in post-editing, 
or you can just stretch it, although that's generally not recommended. But if that is the resolution you're recording at, you're kind of just going to have to deal with it. You can, however, set your game to, like, if you have, like, Chu, Chu, my partner, my fiance, her monitor, which it's actually not even going to show that here, her monitor is set to 1440 by 900. Actually, that, yeah, it's not even going to show it. That is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So if you were to record in that, you would have big old black bars on the left and the right of the video. However, whenever we record, we tell the game to run at 1366 by 768, which is slightly higher than 720p, but still widescreen. That way, fills up the whole frame and we don't have any resolution issues. So, adjust your game resolution and your screen resolution correctly. Audio. Now, it's probably going to be okay to leave these as default. I want to make sure that no matter what, my mic is detected as my mixer, my professional microphone, so I'm going to change that to that. Your desktop audio device, I change mine pretty regularly, so depending on what I'm doing, my desktop audio may be my monitor or my Elgato capture card, my uh, surround sound mixer, or my Turtle Beach headset. So uh, I may change that depending on what I'm doing, and if you leave it at default, OBS will pick that up, and you won't have to change it in OBS every time to detect your audio settings. Hit apply. Advanced, you don't really need to set, set anything here. If absolutely necessary, you can try out the mic sync, ha mic sync fix hack. However, I wouldn't really mess with it. You can set a noise gate on your mic, and that would take some finagling. I'm not going to go into that here. Not really necessary if you have a good mic and you have that set up well already. Now let's go back to this encoding tab. This is going to be a bit more of a difficult one for those of you who are new to video recording. Uh, just kind of leave that those two checked, whatever, that is fine. Constant bit rate for what we're doing with a streaming program is kind of what you're stuck with. You could try quality balance and all that jazz, but it's not necessarily going to work out in your favor as far as performance goes. Max bit rate. So when I'm streaming, I'm going to stream at about 1800 kilobit kilobytes per second, which is about 1.8 megabytes per second. That's decent for streaming, but that is really crappy for YouTube videos. And especially after you render it once and YouTube's processed it, that's going to look like a potato. What I use, which is the basic for like capture cards and things like that, is 30 megabytes per second for recording, which is 30,000, well, not 300,000, 30,000 kilobytes per second. I, if you have a lower end machine or you're concerned about your computer's performance for recording this, I would start at about 15 and work your way up. And I will show you how to notice something in a little bit that will tell you how your performance is going for recording. Audio bitrate, I always set it to 320. That's the highest audio bitrate you're going to get. No reason not to do it. It also affects your encoding rate, but frankly, having good audio is very important, so just leave it there. Hit apply. Hit OK. And we now have a PC recording profile for with proper encoding settings and everything like that. But now we need our gameplay. So we're going to launch a game. I'm going to run Borderlands 2, which may or may not actually show up in my Camtasia recording here, but bear with me the fact that it is in fact running. Alright, we're going to skip through all the intros and blah blah blah. I'll tab back out, go back to OBS. Now this is a situation where multiple monitors is going to come extremely in handy. So if you have a dual monitor set up, you're going to want OBS dragged over onto your second monitor and showing you information while you're still in game that way you have full observation of what's going on in your stream here and I will show, be showing that on the screen with the second recording so what we're gonna wanna do in your scene you don't really for PC recording you're not gonna wanna do web I mean you could do webcam overlays and I'm gonna show you that but you don't need to do graphics or anything like that so you just need a basic scene we're just gonna name it PC record okay in your sources go to add game capture we can just name this Borderlands 2. This basically changes every time you reload a game, so there's no reason to really keep these in your scene or name them or get too attached to them because that's going to change pretty drastically. 
Then we're going to go over here, find our game, Borderlands 2. And then I'm going to uncheck Capture Mouse Cursor just to be safe. Or you could leave it checked. Uh, depending on what game you play, you may or may not want that checked. Hit OK. And then we're going to preview our stream here. Now it's not going to show anything until we pull the game up. And then Alt-Tab back out, it's going to show a still image. Again, if you have a secondary monitor, which the game, there we go, the game's kind of loading now. Okay, if you have a secondary monitor, you can leave the OBS window on there and still see your game preview, and that will help you out greatly. Okay, I am recording twice at once, so you will notice that it says, taking too long to encode, skipping frames. It was kind of dropping frames at 28 frames per second, but of course at a still image it's holding 30. If you're having issues with the frame rate, which is down here in the bottom right hand corner, or if it's showing red instead of green in this bar, and telling you like it's having issue with the bitrate, you're going to want to lower it. Now that is your preview. If you set your resolution to lower than the game resolution, like say you're, one, say you're recording at... You're, you're, you're playing a game at 1080p, but you're recording a 720p video, you want to go to exit edit scene here and then drag the game sliders to adjust it to fill up your entire screen because the 1080p video would be much larger than your little your actual video being recorded here okay now let's say you wanted to record face cam as well then you would also go into your scenes here right click add video capture device and I'm gonna warn you mine is facing the ceiling so whatever I'm gonna name this webcam now, it would be better to have your webcam set up as a global source in OBS, and I show you how to do that in a separate tutorial already posted to my channel, so don't worry about that. And then you go over here, Device, and you can choose your webcam. Mine's the Logitech Pro Webcam C910. I'm going to just make sure the audio is disabled. You don't want it like echoing your audio with some crappy webcam mic or something. And set Custom Resolution. For if you're taking up the full screen, then you're going to want to set it as close to your video scene as possible. So if I just have just a video scene, then I'm going to want it set to 720p or 1080p. But since it's just an overlay, I'm going to set it to 480p and 30 frames per second because that's our project frame rate. So 480p, 30 frames per second, disable audio. Everything else should be okay. Depending on your webcam, there may be various different options. So you would check with that. This would also be where you selected chroma key if you were doing a green screen, which I will, I still have to, I have not tested that with OBS to see how good it is, so that's something still to work on. Click OK. There's my webcam. And then using the edit scene option, you can resize it, reposition it however you want, cut off part of it so that it's only got like a square with your face in it or where my hand is here. And you can, you know, line yourself up, test it, click edit scene to finalize it, and there you can record an entire gameplay with face cam. And it has your mic audio. And, oh, crap. One thing I didn't mean to note. If you've ever learned anything about Fraps um, or other recording software, you know that you have to balance with the game audio. OBS recording will be much like Fraps in the sense that your mic and game audio are overlaid on the same track. So you're going to want to find a balance with your game audio. You can do it using the desktop device option here. But I would recommend against that. I would recommend going into your game and messing with the audio sliders in-game and finding a good balance. This may take a couple test recordings to make sure that the audio is well balanced in the final video before you just jump in and start recording. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. As always, thank you for watching. Hope this tutorial helps some people out. Let me know what else you want to learn how to do with OBS and I will jump right on it. And you guys have a nice day. See you next time. Make sure when you're ready to start streaming, you click Stop Preview and click Start Streaming. And that will record the file to disk. If you're just doing the preview, it's not actually saving a file for you and you won't have anything to work with. However, if you click Start Streaming and Stop Streaming or use your hotkeys we set up in it previously, it will start and stop streaming for you. And then in the location you specified, it will provide you an MP4 file, which is completely compatible with all editing software and YouTube. You can straight upload it, although if you're doing a very high bitrate, that will be very... That will take forever, because it'll be a big file. 
like for that 14 seconds, this file is 50 megabytes. You don't want to really upload like that, but you can import it into your editor and move forward from there. Okay, thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Today's featured comment is from Jake, who retweets a funny Pokemon tweet at me that says, Cop. Do you know what this badge means? Me. All Pokemon level 40 and up will obey you? Gets arrested. Thanks, Jake. If you want your comment featured, be sure to tweet it at me, like it, or send it on Facebook, send it on YouTube, or ask it on ask.fm, or post it on my blog. If you send it to a offbeat website other than YouTube, you will most like you're more likely to get your comment featured. Thank you for watching.